keep your mouth shut. Corridor, we don't need roads. So good to see you again. Good to see you too. So whenever I get back to Chicago, in addition obviously to doing these interviews, I'm actually gonna do a ride along with an ambulance. I'm gonna get in the back and they're gonna you kinda are? they're gonna put me through the whole thing oh, to kinda wow. get the experience of what you had. So I know you did a ton of training for this. So what aspect of that world do you think is gonna surprise me the most? Um, are they gonna drive like as fast as they usually do? I hope so. So I, do you I, know the ambulance have some of the highest speed motors in the world? Because they have to be able to go really fast mm -hmm. in order to make get to the hospital so I learned that really quickly in the the, the you know the Michael Bay way really quickly really quickly I kind of hope I learn in the Michael Bay way yeah. too but we're gonna be like in downtown yeah, Chicago downtown so it's, Chicago. it's gonna be a lot of honking probably I think, I think too you're gonna be shocked careful with your, the, your legs because okay. there's very little space between the stretcher and the edges so I learned really quickly that I should get accustomed to having massive bruises all around my legs from hitting each edge but uh, your lower body uh, strength is going to get really good if you nice. like. I've been, I've been pelotoning, so there I'm ready go. to go. You got I'm, it. I'm prepped for this. You're going to be ready. So I know, obviously, for a film like this, you undergo a, a certain degree of training to look authentic and know what you're talking about. And yeah. you don't forget that training just because the movie's over. So, to what degree could you step in there today and, and for the most part, know your way around and know what you're talking about? Well, first of all, I want to make sure to say that I would never dare to do that because obviously what they do is a real job and they really, really train and intimately. Imagine if I could learn in three months, anyone could be a paramedic. But I have so much respect for what they do. But I will say I had like a crash course learning um, curve for that because I had to, you know, I think that the setup of the movie also made me really nervous where Cam is the best mm -hmm. paramedic in town. And so that means you really have to convey everything uh, with such clarity and, and conviction and, and just feel very honest when you're doing it. So I definitely, I mean, I could be in that ambulance right now and walk you through every single thing that is in there. I like. Do you, you want to come to my shoot on I'd Monday? I'd love to. Let's you go. know, before starting to film, I rented an ambulance. I'd have a friend that drive it around town so yes. I could learn how to be in the back and really feel comfortable with the space before we started filming. That's, that's amazing. Obviously with Baby Driver, you've now kind of been on both sides of the, the thieving world, I guess you could say. So what, from your memories of doing Baby Driver, kind of maybe helped your perspective on ambulance being on now on the other side of it. Right. I think that getting accustomed to motion sickness was my best like learning curve. Yeah. Uh, also Godzilla versus Kong because I had to be in these crazy heaves that were moving all the time. It really, you know, also reminded me that I'm getting older because I used to get on rides all the time and back to back and being fine. And then I remember it was my birthday and I was in this heave on Godzilla and I got motion sickness for the first time ever and I couldn't believe it. And I was like, well, welcome yeah, to the 30s club. I was like, I oh, sneezed God. the other day and my back hurt. You cracked it's, it? It's, I'm there. I'm starting like, to get all these things. I was things. like, well, this is, yeah. this is how it, and I was like moving people at work were like, what happened? And I tried to come up with some fake story like you didn't do any yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah, the other day I got sciatica just from traveling on just planes. I'm like, us. who are we? I really Gross. hope people feel bad for us yeah, in so this bad. moment. Yeah, so bad. It sucks to be us. I really love that uh, there are a couple of Michael Bay movies that are name dropped. Do you this. love it? Or you just like rolled your eyes no, and laughed? No, I, I was raised on, I just geeked out for like 10 minutes of Michael. Being it was like one of the greatest Bay. moments of my life. I got a selfie with him and it was like the greatest thing. <laughs> So I love it. So, which means that Michael Bay exists in that world. Yeah. Do you think Cam is a Michael Bay fan? Um, like she likes the movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think Cam I don't likes? Think Cam Michael watches TV. I think she's kind of like a like a little bit of a bitter like human being. We meet her and she just you know she's just like whatever. She's too cool for school mm -hmm. when we meet her. So I don't know. I I think she'd be like, who's Michael Bay? Yeah. Oh, that dude from Transformers. I was going to say, the guy that directed Transformers. Yeah, he'd be like, she'd be like, I like Transformers 3 more than 1. I know, like, the, the continuity aspect of it. You have to have, like, blood all over yourself. Yeah. And, and so, but, like, the matching up of it at the end of the day where you have to, like, kind of be like, well, yesterday I had blood there. Yep. I'm curious as to how difficult that was. And I know that that stuff gets sticky at the end of the day. So is it just like a rinse, wash, repeat where you just scrub all day to get it off and then you got to put it back on all over I'm again? I'm so glad that you bring that up because Donald and our crew of hair and makeup team were so, so incredible. I mean, Donald's, you know, worked with Jake in so many, many projects and did Dune, obviously. And he's just like a professional. He's been doing this forever. And he was so prepared. I mean, he was already thinking about ahead of time how much blood we needed. But, you know, at the last tail end of the movie, we sort of lost half of our crew because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And so Michael Bay became my my makeup continuity 
uh, yeah, and uh, special effects director. So he would get to set and be like, okay, I need more blood here and here, and he would throw it on my face. And I was like, Michael, he's like, it doesn't matter, we're gonna edit it. So in the Michael Bay world, I don't think it really matters when it comes to continuity. I mean, I didn't know it. It all looked. It all. Well, looked that's what right. we yeah. would say. It's like if people are paying attention to that, which we're hoping they're mm -hmm. not. We failed at our job, so we're always hoping that they're not. So if you didn't, then that's good. Yeah, I gotta feel. And then, like, if someone next to me would be like, "Well, you know, the drop of blood." I'd be like, "Dude, shut the fuck up." Like, yeah, no, just no enjoy cares. it. No one cares. Don't overthink this. Yes, yes, seriously. That's put that on a small pillow. Just enjoy. It. Don't overthink just it. Just enjoy it. Seriously, it's such a pleasure to see Thank you. you. Hopefully, Likewise. we're in person from here yes. on out. Seriously, good to see you again. Take Congratulations care. on this. Thank you. Where we're going, we don't need roads.